Hello! In this video I would like to demonstrate you RenderChan plugin for Blender, implemented by Scribble Maniac. Uh, this is a very first version of the plugin and uh, it allows to call RenderChan commands right from Blender. So let's open terminal window and uh, launch Blender. Open our project file. So, first of all, let's uh, check if we have uh, RenderChan plugin activated. And uh, here it is, a very first version. So, let's uh, see what do we have here. And uh, here we can see a video editing with a lots of strips, a lot of shots here. And uh, if we select uh, uh, some strip, we can see an additional render channel panel with uh, some parameters and a re render button. With uh, this uh, button, we can re render our source file and update rendering for this particular strip. So let's try how it works. Uh, this is a strip number 072. Let's open its source file. And uh, here it is. And uh, let's make some obvious change. Let's change uh, uh, background color, for example, like this. Uh, save source file, check uh, the video editing sequence, nothing is updated because the source file is not rendered yet. So let's click re-render button. Uh, nothing happens at first glance, uh, but if we will check uh, terminal window, we can see that uh, the rendering progress shown here. And uh, after some waiting, we can see that uh, the video strip is updated. Of course, this is not very comfortable, because there are no progress bars shown in Blender interface yet, but remember, this is just uh, the first version of the plugin. Patches are welcome. Yeah. Well, the next thing that we have is uh, render with render chan button here. Uh, it allows to render the whole project, uh, the whole video sequence. Uh, like this. Uh, you can see here goes the rendering. Well, we don't need this right now, so let's just close Blender. And uh, one more thing what I would like to demonstrate is automatic uh, detection of changes in source files. Let's say we have closed the project file and made some changes in the source tree. Let's change the same file, for example. Let's change the color again. Like this. And let's open the project file. When the project is loaded, uh, the plugin checks if any changes were made in the any of the source files for every strip, and uh, if the change is detected, then it suggests to update your project rendering. So if we will click OK, then again we can see in the terminal window that. Uh, there is some rendering. Uh, 
OK. Uh, the rendering is finished. And uh, we can see the rendering for this uh, strip is updated. Also, if we click re-render button and no source file was changed, then no rendering takes place because, well, RenderChan knows that there is no need for that. Well, uh, that's all for today. You can find all useful links in the description for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.